All right, guys, uh, we're for part two. I paddled out here to the uh, very north point of Hat Island, which is uh, Whidbey Island's neighbor directly to the east. There's uh, Whidbey in the background right there. And across from Hat Island, you have Kamano Island right there over my, over my shoulder. So about 200 years ago, we don't know the exact date because this was passed down to uh, European settlers through oral history from the Tulalip. This used to be the site of a small village. Longhouses and whatnot, several families would live here. And one day, many of the gatherers from this village were over there on Kamano Island, clamming when all of a sudden the entire south end of the island failed in a massive, spectacular landslide, annihilating everyone all at once, sending a 30 to 40 foot wall of water directly towards where I'm standing right now. This wall of water was larger than this, these houses and it annihilated the entire village, erasing it from existence. It's not known exactly how many people perished in this landslide and then following tsunami, but it was certainly in the dozens, possibly even more than that. This uh, tsunami also impacted uh, several other areas around. It would have hit uh, Clinton, Muckleteo, Sandy Point, causing untold damage throughout this region. I came out here to talk about this spot uh, at this spot because I talk about this spot on my tours almost every single time but I've never actually been here before it's a totally different meaning actually seeing exactly where this village was and just imagining what that day must have looked like anyway I promise my next story will be, be a little bit more uplifting than that uh, once again uh, thank you for watching